Hi, Arlen Elbor here from Orthopedic and Balance Therapy. In today's video, we're going to talk about the infraspinatus. Now, previously in our last video, we discussed the supraspinatus, which is situated above this spine of the scapula, this ridge that you can feel about two-thirds up your scapula when you feel your shoulder blade. So today, we're going to discuss the infraspinatus, which is situated below that spine, below that ridge, hence the name infraspinatus. Infra means below. Where does it insert? So it inserts just right below the insertion point of the supraspinatus. So the supraspinatus inserts just above it. And the infraspinatus, so that's the supraspinatus right there. The infraspinatus inserts just right below the supraspinatus on the outer tip of the top of your arm bone. Now, what does the infraspinatus do? What is its main function? So let's show you a couple of functions, a couple of motions that the infraspinatus is responsible for. Let's turn that over there. And so a couple of motions. The first motion is turning the arm out. You can see in this um, video, that's that motion. Turning that arm out is the responsibility of the infraspinatus. And another responsibility of the infraspinatus, and let me show you that one, is when reaching the arm backwards. So um, not that portion, but this portion right here of the motion, reaching back. So when you try to reach back and out, so let's uh, see that again. So this motion right here is the responsibility of the infraspinatus. In the next video, I will show you how to test for the presence of, the tear, of a tear in the infraspinatus. I will see you then. Hi, Arlen Alburo here again from Orthopedic and Balance Therapy. In today's video, we're going to continue to talk about the infraspinatus. Now, in the earlier portion of this video, we discussed the anatomy of the infraspinatus, where it originates from, where it inserts. We also found that the infraspinatus is as commonly injured as the supraspinatus when it comes to rotator cuff tears. In this portion of the video, I'll show you a couple of ways to test for a tear in your infraspinatus. So the first test, you'll keep your involved elbow to the side. Your forearm and your arm makes a 90 degree angle. The opposite hand will go under and put that hand on the outside part of this wrist. This hand will try to pull the forearm across the body. The forearm will resist, so there will be no motion. They're fighting each other. If it is painful during this test, then that's a probable sign of an infraspinatus tear. The second test, still with your elbow tucked to the side, same 90 degree angle, this hand will push this forearm until it makes about a 45 degree angle, again with the elbow tucked to the side. If it is painful or it's too difficult for you to hold this position, again, that's a probable sign that you have an infraspinatus tear. So that's it for now. In our next video, we're going to discuss how to test for a tear in your terrace minor. I'll see you then.